Thank you so much for your time, Greg. Uh, good luck to you, man. We know you got a hard job ahead. And he really does, and we're so grateful that these uh, plans are put into place for days like today. Of course, uh, you know, we've had Chris Hare, as I just mentioned a moment ago, uh, talking about his encounters, mm -hmm. uh, not only coming across the storm, but uh, the residents of the community afterwards. And let's go back to a little bit of what, what he had to say. Dear God, I Wow, just unbelievable again, just uh, going through that video, and, and my heart beats with Chris's heart. I know, oh, I know I his heart's into, probably going twice as fast as mine, but... I know, I'm turning into a porcupine over here. I mean, my arm hairs just keep standing straight up every time we see that. You can see the power lines in the background there are really, really taking a number. And if you look to the right, take a look at that tree on the right side of your screen. Just getting walloped all over the place. Yeah, and you can see some of the leaves uh, flying around in the air. Again, I don't know if this particular video right here is from Chris, but that last video, this is actually from Chris as well. Both of these are. And he was talking to us earlier, thinking that he was probably less than 100 yards away from this tornado. He said in eight years, this is the closest he's been, and we'll be back with a lot more. Thanks for staying with us. A tornado right now. Limbs coming down everywhere that you're looking at that just came into our satellite center within the past hour. Video being shot by storm chaser Chris Hare, putting his and Andy Sable, putting their lives on the line to bring you this breaking video out of Yazoo City. And you can see how scary it is when you have uh, that low cloud and rain wrapping around this tornado. You can't even see the edges of it, so you wouldn't know where to go in a situation like this. It makes it all the more scary. Hot off the wire, according to the Associated Press, the AP wire, two deaths being reported in rural Mississippi as a result of these storms. Chris Hare, our storm chaser, who's brought you this new video, also reporting sight scene injuries from the ground. And of course, our very own Mike Seidel is on his way there, and he will be bringing you the very latest, which of course, we will transfer over to you on weather.com where you can also continue to get the very latest up-to-date information. And these storm reports, boy, do they come in fast and furious. Still some tornado warnings out there, so you know whenever you've got a tornado warning, there's probably gonna be some sort of damage from that storm. So let's throw it over to James Brady, who's been following a lot of this action. James, you were just talking a little earlier about Interstate 55, all the issues there. Uh, that blows me away, considering how New video it just continues to stream in here to our desk. This is streaming video actually here again, just showing you this scene. This is from one of our stringers and this is a uh, Yazoo city here. And it's, again, the thing that just jumps right out at me here. I don't know if folks at home feel the same way, but there's supposed to be a lot more trees there. And, and what you're seeing are some of the trees that you still see standing stripped completely. That is already a sign of a very strong tornado. And Dr. Forbes, and just looking at some of the video, again, that's not exactly how you do it. You gotta actually get in there and survey. But he fears this is at least an EF3. And Chris Hare, one of our storm chasers, he said it kind of reminded him of an EF4 that he chased about a year ago. So this is a significant tornado uh, going through a relatively heavy populated area too in Yazoo City, going over Interstate 55, which also has a lot of volume on it. And try not to cross over any of that debris that's blatantly out there in the middle of the road. You can see this particular stringer navigating around a lot of that debris. But again, there's going to be a lot of stuff tangled up in those trees. It's not just going to be tree limbs and your tires really can only take so much. We want people to stay safe, uh, you know, 
The wind obviously uh, have, have since uh, calmed down considerably, which uh, is what transported that debris all over the place and really did a number on a lot of the power lines. But uh, again, you know, we, we say never underestimate the power of wind and certainly never underestimate the power of water, which you can also see is piling up on the sides of the roads. Yeah, and this is new, never before seen video sent only into the Weather Channel from our stringers out there. So you can only find this type of video on the Weather Channel. It's amazing as you go up and over that next hill, and then you look into that little valley. Again, just trees flattened everywhere. And these are not little trees. These are serious trees and no leaves. I mean, this will just suck the leaves right off of the branches. I mean, imagine how hard that would be to do, even with your hands. How laborious that would be to do and these tornadoes just take those those leaves and foliage right off strip them bare and take a look at that one tree that's standing in the background look at how tall that is in comparison to the other trees which have now been taken down mm -hmm. you got to remember that the landscape the actual tree line itself has been completely changed in just a matter of minutes the good news, the positive spin, at least the storms are now out of here. There are other parts of the southeast that are going to be staying right in the thick of things here with the rain, with some severe weather. Some of the hardest hit areas so far, again, circled in yellow. That's Yazoo City with Louisiana just to the west. And we had all sorts of damage reports coming in right along the Louisiana-Mississippi border. And that particular supercell, uh, which, by the way, is a thunderstorm that can produce a tornado, that was a long track uh, tornado there. Oh, two miles. This two is what miles. Dr. Forbes is worried about today with this kind of setup. Not necessarily a ton of tornadoes. We think only about two confirmed, but the confirmed tornadoes have been incredibly powerful. They have been, and sometimes you can get numerous storm reports coming in. Sometimes there'll be duplicates that have to get sorted out and tossed at the end of the day, and then you only wind up with, you know, somewhere between, like we were saying, two and four storms. Yeah. But it doesn't take much. If you do get those two to four storms, and they do damage on a community and hit the the right spots, I don't want to say the right spots, mm -hmm, but right. spots that are uh, very heavily populated, this is where we find up with situations like the new video that you're currently seeing. Right, this is our same stringer there. Again, new video into the Weather Channel only. You can only get this here on the Weather Channel. And th think about the distance this fellow's already traveled, Danielle, probably already well over 100 yards, and we are still seeing incredible tornado damage here. We think the width of this tornado may have been easily three quarters of a mile to a mile wide. Uh, just think about how long it takes to walk that kind of distance. So hard to get out of the way of something like this. And it is not done yet. Severe weather coverage will be continuing right after this.